guys, it's Jonathan from Bull Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful 2003 Ford Lightning, one of my favorite trucks. We're gonna go into full details on this specific ride, do a walk around, test drive, throw it on the lift so you can see underneath it, so you can make the right decision on this ride. If you have any questions about financing or transportation options, go to our website at bulletmotorsports.com. Also, make sure to take a look at our swag. We've got five new shirts, all listed on our site. This is our Turbo T. Back to this ride. Starting off with the front fascia and the overall condition, I would rate this easily a 9 out of 10. It has had one repaint, but the paint is flawless. When you look at the front end, very clean. It does have a billet grill in place of the original uh, Ford SVT grill. You still have your SVT badges in the lights, so these aren't these eBay replacements. Bottom of the, of the, bumperette, of the bumper does have a little bit of imperfections, uh, and that's common because it's lowered, so it's a 2-3 to three, two, three drop but it looks perfect. Those chrome SVT wheels, they just look perfect on this ride. Uh, it does have a bed cover with a wing. This changes the whole dynamic of the truck in regards to the aesthetics. It has shocks that open up and there's carpet in here, uh, the bed. So there's nothing covering this or hiding anything. When you look inside there, that's like new. Let me go over the driver's side. So driver's side has no dents or dings. Interior is perfect. That suede looks really good. The, the steering wheel looks good. It does have an aftermarket boost gauge. I had that on my old truck. Uh, this has 54,000 miles. Pop the hood. We'll go over the interior when we go for the test drive. I'm gonna go over the list of modifications. So this does have a Medco pulley set does have a single throttle body, so normally they're, they're dual butterflies. Uh, does have a six pound lower uh, JBA manifolds, I believe, or headers. Let me see, I don't recall. Yeah, J it has long tubes on it with cats in place, and then it goes out the side. Sounds unbelievable when you get on it. JLT intake. There's that Medco pulley set if you want to come close, and it does have a gator back belt, so there's no slippage. Uh, it also has a JLT oil catch can, which is over here. That's gonna allow you to not have oil going, recirculating back into the, uh, into the blower or the intake itself. K&N filter, and the insulation pad is missing, but it shows very well. Let's go over the passenger side. Passenger side is the same as the driver's side. It does have the signature side exit exhaust. Paint is flawless. Passenger side looks great. Dash looks good. Does have a minor imperfection on the dash where that, where that little uh, vent is. See that it's a little bit indented. Look at the other ones that are available right now and I want you to compare the seats in this one to the ones that have the similar, similar mileage. You can see that this was pampered, it was garage kept, and it still is garage kept. So I bought this car to keep for myself to replace it uh, replace mine because this one was actually nicer and one of my friends just kept on begging me Jonathan sell me this truck and I did and now he won't sell it back to me so we consigned it and we're selling it on his behalf the rear bumper looks great it's never had a hitch and the factory hitch is removed let me start it It's a pretty mellow exhaust. I believe it's a Bassani exhaust, so it's the two, two chambers. You can't hear it until I get over here, but nice and quiet. Doesn't smell like fuel, two cats, and it's tuned properly, so when you get on it, it feels really good. Uh, the injectors, I believe, are upgraded to 40 pound injectors. 40 or 60, I don't remember, but I'll write it in the description. Let's jump in and go for a ride. We're inside the cabin right now. Steering wheel is very nice. All the perforated edges are very clean. Your gauges look great. 54,086 miles. Uh, radio. So it's a factory radio. Radio works as it should. It has been tinted. So there's a Lumar film throughout. All of your uh, compartments are very clean. It's 90 in Florida today. I'm sure everybody else is freezing right now. So the cup holders work. Doesn't have as much springiness as it should, but they do operate. You do have uh, plugs here, dual plugs. And masks, 
along with the jacking instructions and stickers. I'll, I'll remove the mask, don't worry, we'll, we'll sanitize this girl. Uh, the carpet is very clean and it does have aftermarket lightning mats. So you do have a center console that folds down and it's clean. There's no stains or rips. Let me put my seatbelt on. All the windows go up and down properly. All your mirrors work. Basically all the gauges work. We're gonna let this thing get to operating temperature and take it for a spin. Doesn't bang into gear. Very mellow, so you don't really hear the exhaust until you get on it. But when you do, this thing will scream. We're gonna do a different route. They're doing construction on Ravenswood right now, so it is filthy and I don't want this truck to get dirty. Uh, please take a look at the underside shots of this truck. That's gonna showcase how nice this truck really is. If you have any questions about financing or transport, just click on the links on our website or you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. The shifts feel good, it's nice and firm. That's third. Uh, we're not getting into any boost yet, we're letting the temperature rise. You don't ever wanna flog on a supercharged car until it's warmed up, or any car for that matter. I see on the glass we have a small imperfection here. So if it's purchased at asking price, we will remedy that, otherwise it's sold as is. We keep around 50 cars in stock at all times, and it's an eclectic collection of vehicles from old Mustangs to this, to Lamborghinis, to whatever your heart desires. So please take a look at our website to see what else we have coming up. If you see a car like this listed up, and uh, it doesn't have a price, and it says it's going to bring a trailer, that's an auction site that we use. So once it goes live, we're gonna update that listing and have the link directly to the auction. That's a seven day auction. You bid to win and at the last two minutes if someone raises the bid, it will add another two minutes to the existing auction. We're almost to our testing zone and we'll be able to show you what this will do. We'll do inside rolling shots and then we'll get a couple outside shots for you to make a decision. If you have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Suspension feels good. It's not loose, steering feels very tight. It has QA1s on all four corners, so those are adjustable, and it's set perfect. When you go over bumps, it's very firm, it's not bouncy. We're gonna turn left here, and I'm gonna be quiet so you can actually hear the truck and not me talking. Yeah, we'll put the windows down for this. Just regular driving right now. AC is ice cold, by the way. I'm taking the overdrive off. Overdrive back on. There we go. We're getting to where we can exercise it, where it's gonna be a closed road. And you'll be able to hear it. This is just regular driving so you can kind of get an idea of if there's drone or not. On the highway, around 80 miles an hour, it's the perfect speed, or 70, 70 miles an hour. You can't break the law. I feel, I feel the drone is not there. There's the new uh, C8. We'll get a little bit of gas going here, ready? Feels good. I'd say it's like 400 wheel based on that. Here's our, here's our little strip where there's no traffic. You ready? Feels good. When it shifts in a second, it chirped, went a little bit sideways. That's like the perfect amount of power for something like this if you're gonna street it. You can go way crazier, but this is perfect. Then it lays the power out nicely. What we'll do is get Will outside, we'll drop him off and we'll do some drive-by so you can hear it.
give us a call at 954-363-2261.